what? <laughs> okay. I had a little mini heart attack. I didn't expect this. $91,489. Darnia, Daria White. I think we've done business before. Do you... Are you... <laughs> Uh, I, I think we're going to do some more business in just a second, but hey, how's it going? I don't know. That's not how a female talks. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm a bit of a pickle. Maybe you can help. This field is ready to, is really early and I expected all my regular guys are tied up with their other work. If I don't get this harvest in a quick, it'll be past prime and useless to me. $91,489 is a small price to pay compared to that. If not it's a small we're gonna do it we're gonna do it we're gonna do it right now <laughs> oh good afternoon everybody and welcome back we are back with farming simulator 2017 i hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far i'm having a really great day we are wasting time we need to start on this field but i don't understand why there's corn stalks uh, farming simulator fix your game, but currently we are about to do ourselves a mission for a Darnia white once again And she's paying out the wooza with 91 grand Which is probably gonna be over a hundred grand if I can get this done quickly, but currently she's lent us these two machines We have what are you we have the Terra Dos T4 the heart the Holmer X Exact. It's the Homer Exact T440. It's a mega machine monster. Hold on. Do you have? You do have an awesome horn. Why can't I ever have awesome horns? Okay. Now, how does this thing work? I need to figure out how you work. So let's see. Okay, that's reverse. I mean, that's re that's this is reverse. Okay, so I need to hook this thing up. Now, how in the world am I going to do this? I've never used one of these machines before, and I'm guessing it's just like any of the. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, good. Okay, go this way. Can I hook you up like this? There we go. That is now hooked up. Sweet. Okay. And if, from what I can see, uh, this thing looks kind of small. So let's see. Let's, uh, let's, no, I need to, oh, I can't. Okay, there we go. This is, is that unfurling? Is, did we just unfurl or did we furl? Okay, this is unfurl. This is lower. This is turning on. So it should be working. I think. Is it working? No. Okay, I gotta figure out how this. No, it is working. Okay, cool. So I did it. Uh, okay, I did all the things. It is not working, but as far as I can. Nope, other way. Okay, cruise control. So, but as far as I can. Nope, I gotta turn it back on. <laughs> it's very hard when you don't know exactly what you're doing. Okay, is this on now? Correct? I am correct. Okay, cruise control. But it looks like this thing is super small, and we've gotta do this entire field. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it's gonna be a lot easier to kind of track what I'm doing than it is for seeding now While I'm doing this all of my crops are of course doing their thing and uh, I gotta stay in a line It's really hard to do with the controller. Okay, so we're kind of in a line right now Which is good and keep it just steady, but I'm glad you guys are here I'm glad you guys decided to come and hang out with me playing more farming simulator today Hopefully we can get some fun things done for today uh, after this mission, we'll have over a hundred grand. So that's really, really awesome. I don't know what exactly I'm going to be using any of that money for, but I have a feeling we're going to be looking into buying some new awesome stuff. So we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens with that. But don't forget, guys, if you would like to help out the series and help out the Valentine channel, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're brand new, I'd like to recommend subscribing. We don't do just farming simulator. We don't just do the awesome farming simulator stuff, but we, you know, we do other things. But I think all of it's pretty fun to watch. I'll leave some of the fun stuff down in the description if you guys want to go check any of that stuff out. But I'm going to get to work. I've got a ton of, uh, I guess these are potatoes, sweet beets, or something like that. I've got a lot of harvesting to do, or I'm, I think I'm removing the tops. I think that's exactly what I'm doing because it doesn't even look like I'm really pulling anything out of the ground. But uh, I'm doing a bunch of stuff. I got a lot of stuff I got to do. This is going to take quite a while. I think somewhere between two to three hours worth of doing this. Um, so, yeah. Crunchyroll is going to be my best friend for this. I'm going to go tab out and go watch some anime. Not, of course, as you guys know, Crunchyroll is not a sponsor. <sighs> Crunchyroll, why don't you love me? But I'm going to get to work. And I want to see you guys when this is probably finished. I don't know if I'm going to do like an intermediate break. Depends on how, what I feel like doing. This is going to take a while. <sighs> that moment you realize you weren't even doing the job you were set to do because you didn't know the controls. That's why I think I should just keep the help screen up. <laughs> because apparently uh, there's a lot more buttons than just turning on the thing. Because unless you're actually collecting anything, 
you're not doing the job she told you she was doing so I have to go back over all of these right here and get them all out of the ground because <laughs> all I was doing was removing the tops off of them go figure but yeah now I'm doing the job so if anybody was in the comment section getting very angry at me it's very understandable uh, I, I understand everything that you guys have said so far thank you for letting me know even though it was futile and I can and unfortunately I can't read the comment section before the video goes out <laughs> or else I would have been able to see how stupid I was <sighs> and five episodes of love Chinebio and other delusions later we are almost done I have been sitting at this desk letting this thing go in straight lines for well we started at 220 minutes and now we're at 104. That's 120 minutes. So that means, yeah, two hours. Two hours. That was about it. So <laughs> I love this game. There we go. I love this game, but sometimes the grinding is just a, it's a thing. But anyways, I was able to catch up on some anime. But I knew I could count on you, and she just gave me 120 some odd thousand dollars. We are now at 163,000 dollars. 163,000 farm bucks. Where's my truck at? I'm pretty sure I pushed it out of the way. <laughs> we now have 163,000 farm bucks, all of the farm bucks to get ready for what we're gonna be doing today, which I actually don't know. There's quite a few different things that I have in mind that I could do with that kind of, get out of my way. Get out of my way, man. I'm kind of a farmer, I'm a big deal. So um, there's quite a few different things that I could do and that I really, oh, God. <laughs> come on. Okay, okay, come on, one more, do, do a barrel roll, one more roll. Okay, that truck's just useless. All right, just completely ignore what just happened. I am not a terrible driver. I don't care what anybody has to say about the matter. So, so let's go ahead and head on over. Uh, let's see, you are done. So let's go ahead and move you out of the way and let that guy cultivate itself because while I was gone, all of these guys, of course, were still running. So uh, during that two hours, not a lot of things were getting done because most of the time what ends up happening is uh, they get finished and they just kind of sit there. I wish there was, I guess I could download course play. Some people were telling me down in the comment section that I do need to go ahead and do that. I will look into it. I just don't want to do it yet because I feel like it's just, it, it kind of ruins the nostalgic feature of the, the vanilla play. I don't know. We'll, I'll figure it out later. If I really start to feel like I need that extra automation, I'll, I'll download course play and of course we'll do all that stuff. Uh, on screen. I'll kind of show you guys how it works to be honest with you. Okay. Can you pipe in a little bit faster there, buddy? Get your shaft to spend in. I don't think that's actually how I was supposed to say. Okay. Anyways, so what I need to do today is I would like to upgrade some things. So right now we've got this guy over here who's doing all the cultivating. He's got his little tiny cultivator. Of course, that's the stock cultivator. We got that guy over there. That's the cedar. I'm going to set this guy here. We, of course, got our harvester last episode. Don't need to upgrade this guy. We already, we, well, he's pretty good for what we've got right now. So I was doing some look-sees into our, all of our many things that we can get into. So in order to do the two things that I would like to get done today, which is, of course, the cultivator and the cedar, which are these two, the cultivator and the sewing machine. So first and foremost, if we go into the cultivator right now, the one that we have is this. This one we have the cults to man l300 the from kuhan i probably mispronounced all of those words but yeah you guys know how it is so we've got this one currently has a three meter width which i mean is fine but it's kind of small so if we start to bump up from that we've got this guy which is the horse terra node 4fx which is fourteen thousand dollars and it has a four meter width now also one of the things that you're going to want to pay attention to whenever you're buying anything in the particular especially whenever i'm going through all these different things and i'm going to have to pay attention to it as, at, as well is uh, my mouse is on the screen but it can be kind of useful for right now is this value right here this is going to be the required horsepower in kilowatts in order to run uh this this uh, particular piece of equipment and right now with our tractors if I go down into our garage, our tractors currently have this horsepower, this horsepower, and this horsepower. Those are our three tractors. So our maximum horsepower right now is 145, and our minimum is 125, with kilowatts of 107, and of course 92. Now, that isn't enough, because this guy, its minimum requirement is 160 horsepower, and that's only the one step above what I already have, which is, I mean, it's only an extra meter, so I would like to kind of go above that. I would kind of like to go beyond that um, to probably, I would say either this guy 
or maybe even go further than that and go to this guy. I'm kind of a little worried about this one because I don't know if it has to have that specific uh, piece of equipment, which is this guy, and I don't know what this stuff does. So I'm gonna kind of steer away from here. So what kind of boggles my mind just a little bit is this, let's see, this, it, it's a cultivator preferred fields for next sowing. It has six meter whips, it's 32, oh, whips, wow. Six meter in width, and it's cost $32,000 which is fine, and it has a maximum horsepower of 180 horsepower, which means if I am gonna get this guy, I'm going to need a faster or a better tractor. But what doesn't make sense to me is how this one has a 60 meter width and requires this much horsepower when this guy, which is less, has a 4.8 meter width, which is less than this guy, but requires over 200 horsepower which really doesn't make sense to me. Maybe this was like a new add-on and they just didn't fix it. I don't know, but we're going to probably go after this guy because if we go up one more, it goes from a six meter width to an 8.3 meter width, but it also raises that horsepower up to 300, which is way above what I'm willing to go after. But this guy is probably going to be the cultivator that I want to go for. Now with the sower, we're kind of in the same ballpark. Currently we have this guy, which is the Great Plain 6P106 NT, which we have, which is a good seeder. It has a three meter width and requires this amount of horsepower to run it. Now, now to go up from that, we have a couple different options. We have this guy, which only does potatoes, which is a no-no. We have this guy who does all of this stuff, which is also kind of a no-no because it doesn't do canola, which is what I personally am doing right now. So again, no-no. So, and then if we go up another one, we've got this guy, which yeah, this one's a no-no and these two are no-nos because they these guys don't do canola. So we've got this guy, which is the which is the, the Vagnol Stad Rapid A600S, which is uh, a six meter width, which is kind of like the comparable cedar for that cultivator we had earlier, um, which it has the same amount of requirements for kilowatts and stuff like that as well. So if I was gonna go for a cedar, it would be this one because it can do all the things that I want it to do, which includes canola, which is good. But both of those require 180 horsepower. So I'm gonna have to also look into investing in a new tractor. So I was looking into this, now, for the minimal requirement of horsepower, just base tractor, I would have to buy this guy, which is $165,000, which is more than what we have, which is no bueno. So, we unfortunately won't be able to buy this guy, but... Luckily, this game adds in something called add-ons. So whenever you want to buy a tractor, let's just say the New Holland Agritron T6, um, I could go in here and actually upgrade the engine setup to something a little bit greater. So if I was going to in end up buying this particular tractor, I wouldn't just buy it with 143 horsepower, which is down here. I would want to get the next level up, which would be 160 horsepower. But of course, whenever I do that, it adds on value to it. So it's gonna cost a little bit more. So that's that one. But for me, I need 180 horsepower. That's my minimum uh, amount that I'm going to need for this. So, and doing through my research, my, the only one that's going to give me that at the lowest value, at least from what I have found, is the Valtra N series. Now, we also have the same Fortress, but it's a little bit more pricey and it actually goes over. Uh, what I really need because this one goes up to 193 which I only need 180 and it costs hundred and fifty one thousand dollars Which the the Voltron in series with the stock value of hundred and forty horsepower if I bump that sucker up It goes up to hundred and sixty five But if I bump it up again, it goes up to hundred eighty five which is only hundred and thirty nine thousand dollars Which is good. So I'm thinking this is going to be my tractor the Voltron in series it is going to give me the horsepower that I need, the kilowatts that I need, but there is a little bit of a problem, and that's the fact that it's expensive. $139,000. So, we gotta do some mathsies. Now, I'm only gonna be able to replace one of my things at a time, and of course, once I find another field that's gonna give me another hundred and some odd thousand dollars, I'll be able to replace another one, which I'd like to do today. I don't know if it's gonna happen, though. So, um, Voltron N-Series Tractor, good. So that's going to be, like I was saying, $139,000. So, in order to, I think I'm going to, 
I'm going to do the cultivator first um, because it's going to cultivate this, the fields a little bit faster. So we want to do the cultivator first, which is going to be this guy, which is $32,000. 139 plus 132. No, 139 plus 32 is 170-ish. Somewhere in that general range, which is more expensive than what we have. But luckily, once we get those new tractors, we're no longer going to need this guy. We're not going to need either one of these guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry these guys over here. I'm going to spray them down with our worthless <laughs> our worthless uh, uh, machine washer thing. Because I could have swore if I washed these things, I could get more money out of them. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. And it's incredibly loud! Incredibly loud! So let's go ahead and turn it on. How do I turn it on? I don't remember. Uh, three? No? Is it not it? There we go. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, I'm going to wash down these two guys, which shouldn't take too long. Pressure washer hose restrict you from any further. Okay, so I got to kind of be close to the thing, which kind of sucks because it's loud as balls. So let's go ahead and finish up this guy, kind of get him washed down. And what I'm hoping what will happen after I wash these two down and then sell them is I'll have enough for my new cultivator and my new tractor, which I'm pretty sure will happen. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure... These two are going to amount to just enough if I've done my math in my head correctly. So these two should be done. Let's go ahead and place you back. Shutty up, you stupid loud mechanic thing. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we're going to be selling off. Let's see, we're gonna be selling off this guy. Let's see, let's actually go into, wrong button. Let's go into the garage. Okay, to so sell off, actually, wait a minute. They are kind of more expensive. I wonder why. Maybe the cleaning did make it more expensive and I'm just a moron. I don't know. Okay, so what we're gonna do, sell this guy, bam, uh, $17,000, goodbye. That guy has been sold, good. Now next is my cultivator, $1,700, good, bam, sold off, bam, good. So sweet, so we have $183,000 now. So let's go ahead and take a look at those two tractors. Go bam, the Voltron N-Series. Let's see, front loader, sure, why not. Uh, powered engine, a hunt, the N174, which gives me 185 horsepower and 136 watts of power. Good. The main color, let's go ahead. Oh, I kind of, I love blue. I, I think I should stick with blue. Can I do like a better color blue? Like a different shade? I want to do, you know what? Let's do, let's do extreme. I never have yellow stuff. I want to do yellow. <laughs> I think I'm going to do yellow. And then... Do I do, let's just do like a little bit of a, a difference than white. Okay, cool. So standard wheel length, we can do narrow, wide. I don't exactly know what these guys end up doing. So I think I'm just gonna keep it standard. $141,200, that should be good. Okay, good, so let's go ahead and buy it. Bam, bam, bought my tractor, cool. So I have $42,000 left. Let's go ahead and head over to Cultivator. Go over to the guy I want, which is $32,000. Bam, bye, bam, sweet. I have $10,000 still left and we can go check it out. Let's go check it out. And there's a the truck. Ah, oh, it looks so cool. I love it in the yellow. Oh, it looks good. So let's take it out. Let's take a look at it, even though it's dark time. Hold on, let's wait till daytime. Ah, good morning and the magic of daytime. Much better to take out and take a look at our new tractor. Oh, it looks so cool. We got the Voltron N series. It looks super cool. And I really like the yellow. I'm really glad I decided to go with yellow. So let's go ahead and get into this, this thing. Please, please. Dang it, crappy horn. <laughs> but it is. it does look pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. Look at the cockpit. Oh, pretty cool, pretty cool. It's got a sunroof. Well, that's kind of cool. We got a wheel in the back. Don't know what that's for. Okay, 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 I'm digging it. Okay, I'm digging it. All right, let's, let's go and back up. Oh, God, it's fast. <laughs> it is really fast. It goes up to 32 miles an hour. So let's go ahead and back this sucker in. Connected. And let's go carry this over and get it going. I am very excited. I'm glad I got this thing. Oh, it's huge. Let's go. Uh, you know what? Move out the way. Oh, no, no, no. Move out the way. <laughs> I'm trying to go. And they face through me, that's great. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and unfurl. Pretty big, look at that. That's so much bigger than what we had before. And so much cooler. Okay, is there anything else I have to do to it? So can, so that's unfurl. Uh, we can lower it. And it's been lowered and now we're technically cultivating this. I don't know, I, I'm guessing this isn't illegal. 
How am I supposed to know? So let's uh, let's lift that sucker up, refurl it, and yeah, let's get it over to the field and see how well this. Wait a minute, did that thing just? I'm pretty sure. Hold on, I have to look at this again. Did that just raise up my back wheels? No, wait a minute. I know it did. It had to have. I guess not. I guess I'm seeing things. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this bad boy over to uh, <laughs> to our, our fields. I haven't really named our fields. Fallon Acres? Is that what this is called? I have no idea. Now, let's see. This is its first test. Can it get up the mountain uh, gracefully? Okay, it's it's got its payload. We're going pretty fast. 27 miles an hour. Get it going. Use that horsepower. 180 something horsepower 185 horsepower come on come on dig it in dig it in dig it in there we go look at all that power it's super great awesome <laughs> uh you're a little bit sluggish but hey it's a thing okay so i don't believe i actually have a field that i can cultivate <laughs> so we can't use it yet but hey let's go ahead and get uh my harvester going this guy looks like it's already grown up i have two different fields that I need to get uh, that I need to get harvested and then this guy will of course cultivate behind it and I, I personally I would like to go ahead and make some more money today and see if I can go ahead and buy the cedar I just don't think it's going to happen I don't think I have enough time for to do that but off screen also I bought a bunch more beehives I'm hoping those things can generate me some money I want to get to that point wherever I'm making enough money to then counterbalance the amount of money that I'm spending on my my like my equipment i'm hoping that we can get to that point sooner or later so let's go ahead and turn on the harvester and maybe i did it a little too early okay let's spin it around and then let's get this guy hired and then i'll line up the cultivator behind it and we'll see how this thing works come on get it get it, get it. this thing still has the same problem as everything else in this game is the fact that everything i don't even know if it's called double hitch but it's so hard to back anything up Jeez, it's terrible okay let's go and hire a worker for this guy and it's cultivating. It cultivates just like our old one, except it does it much faster because it's much bigger. I'm glad we were able to get this together. <laughs> that's gonna make uh, the cultivating process a lot quicker and that's loud. Why are you so loud, buddy? But it's gonna make the cultivating process a lot faster, which in turn is then going to be able to make my seeding faster once we get a new seeder. So that's going to be in the works, hopefully. Uh, we'll have to see exactly how long that takes because I've got to grab up another, like, a hundred and something thousand dollars. Jesus. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to work on that stuff off screen. I hope you guys had fun today because that is it for today. I am really excited we were able to get ourselves a new tractor. Uh, it's so great. It looks really good. I'm planning on buying another one for our cedar. That way we can run a cedar and then have, you know, two amazing new stuff and things but anyways i'm done for today i've been sitting in this chair for way too long i hope you guys enjoyed like i said earlier i had a lot of fun today guys don't forget if you hated this video you guys know where to put it but if you didn't enjoy do not forget to hit the like button guys like i was to say guys been showing the support on all of our series so far and i want to say thank you guys for all your main support guys don't forget to post any questions comments or smart comment section down there i love it from you guys so see you guys next time peace out of all the great and wonderful rest of your day It's already becoming nighttime. Maybe I should turn it off 120 speed. <laughs> Let's turn it to 30 speed. Much better. I'll see you guys in the next episode.